A few weeks ago, I started a new job search and I wanted to get myself organized when it came to the points of contacts I was establishing, the organizations that I was researching, uh, the versions of the cover letters and the resumes that I was sending out. And honestly, the job descriptions themselves can sometimes all start to look a little bit alike. So it helps to keep track of all of that stuff. Being a marketing guy, I turned to a CRM system and HubSpot, which is one of the leading solutions, offers a free version that you can use to get your job search organized. It also allows for email integration. So all of your email exchanges that you're having can all be tracked in one place. And I found that to be super helpful when it comes to getting organized around the job search. So I've prepared a short video tutorial here to get you started. And I hope that this comes in handy in your own job search. So the first step in setting ourselves up to use HubSpot in a job search is pretty simple, right? We're going to go to the HubSpot.com website. We're going to get HubSpot for free. And we're just going to go ahead and create an account. Now you're looking for this free HubSpot CRM. And I'm going to go ahead and just create myself a quick account here. It's all pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to use an email address I have not used before and get HubSpot CRM. Now it's going to ask a couple of questions about you and about your company. Just, you know, you can fake your way through these. I mean, the company name doesn't really matter. It's only going to be for your own personal use. How many people at the company? Just me. What field do I work in? Personally, it's marketing and my role is a marketing director. So that's all good. And that's pretty much all it takes to get ourselves set up. Now, when you first arrive, there is an entire tutorial. Feel free to walk through these and learn a little bit more about uh, what HubSpot is and how you can use it, how you create accounts. It will actually walk you through these step by step. Um, the first thing that we'll do to use HubSpot in a job search actually is to change the configuration a little bit. So really your you can think of your job search as a sales job right that you have one product to sell and that's yourself uh, you are going to develop points of contact at organizations you are then going to pitch to those organizations the sale of your product which is you um, and you're going to walk these different opportunities through a funnel so you're going to make initial contacts. You're going to get screened by a uh, typically a talent acquisition specialist. Then you'll get to meet the hiring manager. Uh, you'll have a couple of rounds of interviews and then either you will win the deal, you'll get employed or you will get eliminated and you'll lose it. So here's how we're going to set ourselves up. If you go up here on the little cog um, for HubSpot, You'll see a lot of information here. You can change all of these variables. The one thing we want to start with really is going down to the sales section here. And we are going to change the under deals. We're actually going to change the properties of the sales pipeline. So this is where we define all of the different steps um, that we are going to, to use this system through. So if we think about the steps that you go through during a job search, um, your very first stage here, and you can call these whatever you want. I'm just going to show you how I set mine up, but you'll get the idea. The very first thing uh, that I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the job. Right? Um, and if I've identified the job, I'm still a long way off hitting my target. So I'm going to give that just a zero one percent um, chance. And maybe it won't take that. Okay, I'll give it a 5% chance. There we go. Um, the next step, once you've identified it, you're going to identify lots and lots of jobs. So you're going to be able to keep track here of dozens and dozens of potential jobs that you've identified. You're not going to apply for all of them. So let's make that the second stage. Um, and I called it applied online. Not that I've ever applied for a job any other way than online of late. Um, but let's say, okay, now I'm a bit closer to my goal. I've gone from a 5% chance of winning this to a 10% chance. Then your resume typically goes into a nice black hole and you're waiting for the ATS to filter you out. But if you're lucky enough to get past that ATS stage, um, you will actually get a call from not a recruiter immediately, or maybe a recruiter, that, maybe that's what we call them, or a talent acquisition specialist. But let's say, 
well, let's call this recruiter contact. So at this stage, we're getting a little bit closer. So let's give that 20% mark. Typically, the next stage, if that goes well, is you might have a first call with the hiring manager. So that's whoever in the line of business is actually looking to fill this role. So now we're getting a bit closer. Um, maybe we get a second round of interview. Generally, I put in uh, as a next step, if this first call goes well, I'm gonna say a first interview. So I'm getting hotter. Um, then there might be another few rounds of interviews, but that's probably more detail than we need. So here I'm going to call this final interview. If I know that I'm in that final round now, I feel like I'm getting really close. I'm up to 70%. And one of two things is going to happen. Either I got eliminated from the running, in which case I've set the win probability to lost, or I got employed. And then I've set this to a win. And if you're lucky, you'll get one of all of these jobs in this bucket. Nice thing with um, HubSpot, it is saving all my changes as I go. So now my system is pretty much configured. There are lots of other options in here as you get more familiar that you may want to change to fine tune. But for now, let's just go with this sales pipeline. Okay, so um, going back to the homepage here of the CRM system, you're out there, you identify a job online um, and you're going to apply for it. So how do we do that? In HubSpot, what we're referring to as jobs or job opportunities show up under sales and they're called deals. And you can't change that term that I've, I haven't seen how you can change that. Um, so go into deals and let's say we found a new great job. So I'm, let me just go search at uh, Indeed. Um, and let's just do a quick job search here for director of customer service. And I'm just going to grab the first one. So the gap here, we're looking for a director of customer service in uh, Rockland, California. So the first thing that you're going to do, because it's very easy to lose track of all of the jobs that you've applied for. I've had people call me back two or three months later and I was ripping my hair out trying to figure out what cover letter did I send them? Uh, what was the, even the job description to start with? Well, it helps to keep track of all of that. So going back into HubSpot, I'm going to create a new deal. That's what we call these jobs. Um, and the deal was director of customer service at the gap. So I'll know straight away what this is all about. Um, you can ignore all of these other fields for now. Obviously, you'll be the owner in the system. Um, we don't have a comp we haven't entered the company or any contacts yet um, to associate this with. So for now, just ignore all those other fields. You've just created this job opportunity. So now what we want to do is keep track of the job description. So I'm just going to add that into this deal here as a note. So I can always refer to this in the future. The nice thing is it also tags it with the date. So if I look back, I can always recall exactly um, what this was all about. Now, as I mentioned, we didn't, we haven't yet uh, specified a company, but if I look over here on the right hand side, I can click on add company search by domain or name. So if I went to thegap.com, it doesn't find anything because I haven't actually entered the gap into the system yet. But it's easy enough if I click on create a company down here, it knows that it's thegap.com. So it already has identified the company, it's assigned me as, as the owner. So if I create that, what you'll find is that um, it, the HubSpot is smart enough to have gone off and figured out that you know, this is the gap, it's attached it to the um, domain name, it's given me the phone number generally for the company. And I now have associated this job with the company itself. If I went into, now I just clicked on the company name, I'm now looking at the company profile. Um, if I wanted to add a contact in here, I can do that pretty easily over here on, again, on the uh, right hand side. 
I don't personally know anybody at The Gap, but let's just say that we know a Joe Blogs. Uh, actually, um, so it, again, it won't find it. I haven't entered anybody in the system, so I'm just gonna go and create a new contact. Um, so this is Joe Blogs at, at The Gap. No, not the gap. Um, there we go. Joe logs. Um, and this is maybe a talent acquisition specialist. There we go. So I now have a company, I have a contact, um, and I have a job pinned down. If I go into the sales section now and I look in under deals, what's really pretty neat is that the job is here. I've identified it. If I apply for this online or any other way, um, I simply just have to drag this card now into the applied online section. And once the recruiter contacts me, I just move that over into the recruiter contact. Eventually, I'm going to move this all the way or one of these all the way down and hopefully I'll become the new director of customer service at The Gap. But if not, over time, you're going to find that these columns are filled with little cards and you're able to track all of the activities that you're doing in your job search. You can track the companies, um, you can track all of your points of contact, you can get yourself organized that way. You can also track um, um, recruiters or placement agencies that you work with, keep all of your notes aligned so you know where everything is at. And if you get that obscure call at eight o'clock in the morning, as I once did, um, and you are completely lost about who you're talking to and what the position was even about, you can hop on it quickly into HubSpot and figure all of that good stuff out. Now there's one last thing that I'd like to show you guys. Uh, which is very useful in the job search process. And that is how do you connect an email inbox into the HubSpot system? In order to do this, we go up to our profile here and look for integrations. And more specifically, look for email integrations here as an option. We're going to connect an inbox. And in our case, it's a Google, a Gmail inbox. And of course you want this to be as professional looking as you can. Um, in my case, I'm using one which is uh, called HubSpot for jobs. You'll want to pick one with as professional a name as, as you can. So this allows you to keep your job search activities separate um, from your personal email. Here I'm just giving HubSpot access to my Gmail account. And after a very quick um, setup, I'm now going to be able to track in HubSpot every email exchange that I've had with a hiring manager or a talent acquisition specialist. You also have the option of installing an extension, a Chrome extension. And this is really pretty neat because it will notify you when your emails get opened by your points of contact. So if you're sending details out, maybe you've been given a work assignment and you're biting your nails wondering whether the hiring manager has even looked at it. This would actually tell you when people are opening your emails on the other end, and you'll know that things are progressing to the pipe. So that's it. I hope this helps you get organized and uh, happy hunting.